hi guys welcome to yourpedia education so today's video is especially for the student of instrumentation see those student who got call from npcil for instrumentation today i'm going to discuss with them very few topic which you cannot afford to ignore see many time they ask me question so whether we need to give emphasis on analog electronics digital electronics signal system or not first of all control system is very very important for you people in fact process control industrial instrumentation is very important for you people obviously they comes into core category but if i talk about guys analog electronics digital electronics then i want to discuss with you few brief point here see whenever we talk about the instrumentation then as a instrumentation engineer the interfacing knowledge is very important and it's required in the any of the industry so if i talk about the interface interfacing devices so operational amplifier is very important so if you're from the instrumentation background you are going specifically for the interview of the npcil don't forget to master the operational amplifier and specially the instrumentation amplifier under the op amp slure so topic under the op amp apart from this differential amplifier what are the different stages of the operational amplifier what is cmrr what is the typical value of cmrr what is the ideal value of the cmrr these are the topic which you cannot afford as a instrumentation background if you are going for the npcil interview if i talk about other there are opto electronics interfacing device which convert light into electrical electrical into light that may be photodiode that may be led that may be photo transistor or so many kind of things so these you might be studied as a basic devices in the device physics or device study so if you are from the instrumentation i guess in analog electronics they are at the fundamental level so at least you must be well versed with their principle how they work and their characteristics and apart from that i am talking about a to d d to a converter these topic guys you study in the digital electronics and what are the a to d conversions what are the d to a conversion and what are the various parameter accuracy speed error settling time what are the these parameter associated with the each conversion process you must have the idea of this now next is very very important that is guys pid controller you cannot afford the pid controller now what happen when i talk about the pid controller instrumentation student must go in the well depth of the pid controller what is the meaning of pid controller see the question i have taken few of the question what is the tuning method of the pid controller what do you mean by the tuning of pid controller what are the different ways of doing the controller tuning apart from that describe the effect of proportional derivative integrative term on the control system output see pid involve proportional integral derivative action right so what will be their individual effect on the output or response of the control system in which you are employing it apart from that what are the individual component of pid and what are their individual function as a collaboratively we know what are their individual functions and how they are basically complementing each other so guys these kind of question you must be knowing and if you are choosing pid controller for any specific application you can see here how will you choose appropriate control parameter like proportional gain like integrative time like derivative time how you will choose these control parameter for a particular pid while selecting for any specific real world applications apart from this what are the pid real world application be in term of the you know autonomous vehicle system be it of the temperature control system be it in term of the any real world applications so can you tell us the real world applications and there are many mechanism which are in our surrounding be it elevators be it lift so many things what kind of controller are being used there so guys whatever process or physical process or real world application you are observing surrounding you then you must be knowing what kind of controller is used there what kind of actuator is used and what kind of sensor is used as a instrumentation engineer if you need to choose a sensor for a particular control system what are the your reference parameter will you take accuracy into consideration will you take response time into consideration will you take basically linearity into consideration what are the different kind of parameter you will take into consideration when you will start studying the topic by keeping these all thing in the mind then definitely you will be performing really good but don't restrict yourself only up to the definition of the pid controller 
so being a instrumentation fellow go into very detail only then you will be a suitable or susceptible person for the NPCL interview now finally we talk about the process control you must be well aware of the different devices different transducers involved in the flow control mechanism you must be well aware in the level control mechanism in the temperature control mechanism in the pressure system or pressure control mechanism and there might be various options you might have if i talk about the temperature control system you might have studied thermocouple you might have studied thermistor you might have studied rtd what are the differentiation how you can you know differentiate them on the basis of the linearity on the basis of their range on the basis of their accuracy or, or on the basis of what kind of parameter you will choose out of these multiple options the best for your required application so guys the point is that the basic instrumentation you need to prepare but apart from this this topic very important and how you need to prepare that i have told you and apart from this pid controller very very important topic and prepare all the pid controller from the real world application point of view and apart from this on the basic level if i talk about the interfacing device then you must have the knowledge of these also apart from this if i talk about the signal and system see when we talk about the instrumentation data manipulation data signal conditioning these are the basic process you need to do amplification modulation multiplication scaling frequency division all kind of operation are involved so you can't afford to miss the signal and system signal system is really required at least Fourier series Fourier transform Parseval energy relation what is the significance of the Parseval energy relation and what is the distortionless transmission these kind of the question you must be well aware of and what is basically difference between Fourier series and Fourier transform why we are using so many tool DFT DTFT FFT Fourier series Fourier transform Laplace transform Z transform why can't we perform the operation with the single tool and what is the physical significance of the convolution that is the very very important topic so you can't afford to miss signal system and in analog i have told you this topic very very important operational amplifier digital a to d conversion d to a conversion very very important apart from that photodiode led photo transistor laser these are the very very important topic on the basic level more focus process control and in process control level control temperature control i have told you you know flow control many kind of process how to compare the different kind of the instrument and device involved at the various stages what are their working principle so if you ask yourself question in surrounding of this victory then definitely you will be really prepared well for the npcil interview so if you want to join your pedia education for the further preparation of the interview you can connect our executive and we wish you all the best thanks a lot